Hey guys, Flexerman 1974 here, and I'm off on another hunt down uh, to a creek here in southern West Virginia. And uh, I've hunted it once before. And uh, the only thing I pulled out of there was a World War One coat button, and I'm not sure if the foundation was from an old coal mine or from where they timbered but uh we're gonna give another try and uh, see what we can find oh you know i'm going down to the river i must sit down on the ground i'm not the waves of water not the waves of water honey Baby, wash my trouble down. Well, guys, we're down to the creek now. And uh, if you can see, up in there, well, it's kind of hard to see. There's a foundation. But uh, we got to get across the creek first. And uh, then we can start detecting. So uh, we'll see you in a minute. Well, guys, made it across the creek. No problems. It's actually pretty low. We haven't had a lot of rain. Uh, water's cold. Definitely uh, feel fall in the air. But um, got all my gear together, and we're gonna head up there and see what we can find. Well, guys, this is my first decent signal. Uh, looks like an old part of an old stove, maybe. It's kind of cool. It's ornate. It's, uh, a lot of signals though, a lot of iron, uh, a lot of coal, but um, dig around some more. There's a lot of brush though, hard to swing. Uh, the last time I was here, right in this area, right in front of the foundation, I found that uh, World War I coat button. So uh, that dates it a little bit, but I'll get back with y'all if I find anything else. Well, I am on top of the foundation right now. As you can see, um, the creek's over there. Right on the far corner. And I am getting a high 90. See? 91. 90, 99, 92. Let's, uh, let's try to dig this. See what it is. Don't want to knock it off the... Forgot my throw pointer, unfortunately. So, making my digs a little bit harder. Still Ended there. up being, looks like maybe a food container lid. Maybe, I don't know, there's a little tab right there. But, Showed up high 90s. Yeah. It's jumpy. Guys, after about three or four different trash signals, I managed to pull out a 44 shell, if I get it to focus. It's just the casing smashed down. Remington UMC. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's been flattened. But get back with y'all if I find anything else. Oh, well, guys. I was digging towards the top of the foundation and looks like maybe that was a a pit where somebody was digging. Either that or maybe a privy. I don't know, but uh, I got a high 40 signal and I had to dig down through all these rocks to get it. And it's a pretty cool artifact. 
It's a big chisel. Maybe uh, something used back in the day for digging out coal. It's pretty sweet though. Anyhow, we'll get back with y'all we'll find anything else. Well, I hunted for about an hour and a half, two hours. It's pretty tough digging, a lot of signals. But uh, that's about all I found. Nothing, nothing real good. The uh, piece of stove, I guess. The uh, the chisel, which is, I think, is probably my best find. Uh, some mason jar lids, a uh, shoe, uh, some glass. That lid, I guess, that's what that is. Uh, solid copper bar. I don't know. Some iron. Found a bunch of iron. But you can tell somebody was living here one time. But even with that little little coil, it's still pretty tough digging. But might try down by the creek a little bit. And uh, if I get anything, I'll get back with y'all. Well, we didn't have too much luck detecting. So I did bring a backup plan and from a fishing pole. Maybe, uh, maybe we have a little bit more luck fishing down in the creek. Might even try that spot right there. Well guys, doing a little bit better fishing than I was uh, detecting. Let me get that in focus. A little red eye. I've had three casts and uh, three fish. So uh, I guess I'm gonna keep doing this.